What's up, dude? I'm Nate Brown Clothing, joining you outside for the first video ever, as you guys can see. I'm just kidding, it's a picture. <laughs> you can definitely tell, can't you? Yep, you can. Fuck. Anyway, I'm Nate Brown Clothing, and today, I'm showing you guys what I'm rocking for Halloween to, uh, to look fly, to look trill, and to probably be very obnoxious, but it's pretty funny, though, still. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking right now, Nate Brown! What the mother of fuck, dude? You're 21 years old. Why are you going out for Halloween? And the truth is, I'm not. Don't worry. I know I'm 21, and as you get older in life, you stop going trick-or-treating, and you start going to parties and, like, club events and stuff, and you dress up still because we're grown-ups, but we're still children inside, you know? <laughs> Especially me. I haven't grown at all yet. But saying that, once I have a little bit of liquid during the night, I probably will go to one or two houses after raiding my own candy in my house. You know what I mean? So, uh... That's out of the way. I, I, I know I'm 21. Thank you. Now, real quick, if you guys want to give this video a thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you guys want to give it 700 today, that would be awesome. You guys are very killer for all your support. As always, I love you guys. I hope you have a great Halloween this year, too. It's like, there's quite a long time until it comes, but I hope you guys have a great Halloween, regardless. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, dude? You know? Boom, man. Here I am for Halloween. Like, I'm probably talking over a clip right now, and I'm going to keep, you know, talking nonsense until you guys are done looking at this outfit. Da, 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 that's my outfit. All right, we're back. So as you guys can tell, this costume is a doctor, but not just any doctor. As you guys can see, I am a gynecologist. Now, for my younger viewers, I really hope you're not watching right now. I know you guys can watch. You need to know this. A gynecologist, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a vaginal doctor. So girls, when they got problems with their vagina and shit, they go to this doctor and then they sort it out. They sort out the issues. They tell them what's up and then they fix it. So gynecologist, vagina doctor, you learned it from here. Don't tell your parents that. Just, yeah, I don't want them blocking you from this channel, you know? All right. So yeah, man, there's my costume. Gynecologist, Dr. Howie felt her snatch and <laughs> which pretty much means Dr. Howie felt her snatch or felt your snatch and uh, snatch is also you know that's enough. <laughs> now the reason why I'm showing you what I'm rocking this Halloween is because I feel like this is a funny costume to me if you're wearing it in the right environment and you're not about to get punched in the face by your parents uh, it's a good costume. I think it's fucking funny. Now I actually did buy this costume but the reason why I'm showing it to you is because I kind of want to give you the idea. I feel like if you guys like the idea of this costume just by looking at it on me you guys already know how to make it. So basically this is a DIY how to make your own costume video even though I bought mine. Now if you guys are still clueless on how to make this costume and you're kind of lacking in the imagination department, I I'm not because I'm still a child. Uh, here we go. I did some thinking for you. So the first thing you guys can do, once again, this is the only piece I'm wearing for this outfit, then I'll tell you how to style it if you want to. The only thing you need is something that looks like this. Now, if you guys don't have a lab coat at home, a doctor's coat, which most people probably don't, if you do, I really want to know why. But anyway, if you guys don't have one of these at home, here's what you gotta do. Go to a thrift store, go to Walmart, go into your mom's closet, or, uh, you know, go anywhere that sells clothing, and buy a long sleeve white shirt that is way too big for you. That's all you gotta do because it will give you that length, it will give you the big collar, and it will give you the length on the sleeves. If you guys look at doctors, none of their coats fit good. <laughs> They're just oversized shirts. So if you guys go to the store, just buy a cheap, big, oversized white t-shirt or long sleeve without the fuck. Take off the buttons if you want to. Just rip off the buttons, boom, you got a white t-shirt. Another thing you guys can do, go on eBay and search up lab coat. Go on Google, search up lab coat, search up doctor's lab coat, anything like that. But do not search up doctor's lab coat costume because costumes are always overpriced because they know they can get that money from you one time a year. So don't search that. Just search up doctor's lab coat and I guarantee you there will be very cheap ones online. Probably shit quality, but so is this. So those are two options, what you can do to get one of these. Now, if you guys want to just leave it there and just be a doctor for Halloween, uh, what you can do is, you know, you can buy one of those stethoscopes. I don't know what they're called, but you guys can take it from there. But if you want to be a gynecologist, here's what you got to do. So as you guys can see, the only other thing this has on it that actually says what it is, is writing. Now, how the fuck do you get the writing on there? Here's one idea. Usually parents are very good at writing. It's just a thing. One of your parents are probably very good at writing. So go up to one of them, say, hey mom, hey dad, can you write gynecologist on this? Don't don't worry about why. Just can you write gynecologist on it's it's for a good reason, trust me. Just say those exact words and they might write it for you. Hey mommy, you mind write a gynecologist on my shirt? What the fuck do you mean no? Mom, come on! Just the big mom! If your uh, parents are a little bit not okay with that, all you gotta do is go to Walmart, get like one of those little stencils that you used to have in uh, elementary school, and you can stencil out every letter. I don't recommend that because that's a pain in the ass. Now the thing I just suggest is take your hand, take a pencil, 
and a marker. Now what you're gonna wanna do, right? You're gonna wanna lay this out on a table, take a ruler, you're gonna need that too. Take a ruler, put it somewhere along your shirt where you wanna write, and take the pencil and draw a straight line, right? Now you've got a straight line to write on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Sharpie, you're gonna write gynecologist very neatly, then you're gonna erase that pencil line. Boom, you got a straight line saying gynecologist. Now it probably won't look that good, let's face it, because it's very hard to write on fabric, and you probably have very shitty writing. It's okay, it's homemade, it makes it look like this is your idea, you just created this costume out of your mind, and that's funnier, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm talking a lot, because coffee is on my mind right now. I mean, coffee's in my mind, I drank way too much, and uh, that's all you guys gotta do. Now a little thing, if you guys are younger, maybe not the best, costume depending on the environment you're in and depending on how old you are this can be very offensive but I've never personally at my age gotten any like uh, negative feedback from it so yeah man that's it now how I personally style this as you guys can see underneath this I just have an extension t-shirt very comfy and then I got a nice black pair of joggers because I feel like that can also give you the doctor's look the all black with the white lab coat but also because I know as the night progresses I'm gonna keep drinking that milk right and uh, I'm going to start to get very hot. It's going to be a hot party. So when this comes off and it gets tied around my waist, I still want to look fly as fuck, dude. So, so I just got a nice outfit underneath this. Now, if you guys are not the type to half-ass a costume like I am, if you want to look more like a gynecologist, I, I've never actually seen one in person, to be 100% honest with you. But I'm pretty sure you could just have like a nice button-up shirt, maybe a tie-on, maybe like some pants with a belt and tuck in your shirt. I think that would look pretty professional. Once again, I don't really know what a gynecologist looks like. Chances are they don't even wear these, but <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, just planting that seed in your head, that idea in your head. So if you want to make this costume, you know how to. If you guys don't want to make it, that's cool. Thanks for watching anyway. If you guys want to subscribe, it's right there. That'll also remind you to thumbs up. But if you really want to subscribe, you got to click right below my ball sack. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are killing all the support for me. I really appreciate it. Name Rand Clothing. Yeah, also... Happy Halloween. I hope you guys have a good one. Be safe. Don't get hit by cars. Wear those little lights that reflect. You know? One more thing. When your parents tell you to wear a jacket underneath your Halloween costume, do it. You're going to get cold. You know it. You might not look as cool. You might look like a fucking Pillsbury Doughboy, but wear it. It's smart. Your parents know. But if you're going trick-or-treating with a bunch of girls and want to try to look cool, fuck the jacket. All right, guys. Peace. <laughs> Bad advice. Actually, still wear the jacket. All right. Peace.